Welcome everyone to another South Dakota travel adventure. Today we will explore the historic town of Deadwood. The discovery of gold in the southern Black Hills in 1874 set off one of the great gold rushes in America. In 1876, miners moved into the northern Black Hills. That's where they came across a gulch full of dead trees in a creek full of gold and Deadwood was born. Practically overnight, the tiny gold camp boomed into a town that played by its own rules and attracted outlaws, gamblers, and gunslingers, along with the gold seekers. Wild Bill Hickok was one of those men who came looking for fortune. But just a few short weeks after arriving, he was gunned down by holding a poker hand of aces and eights, forever known as the dead man's hand. Calamity Jane also made a name for herself in these parts and is buried next to Wild Bill in Mount Moriah Cemetery. Other legends like Potato Creek Johnny and Seth Bullock to name a few created their legends and legacies in this tiny Black Hills town. You can find these colorful characters walking the streets of this present day Deadwood as a part of Deadwood Alive. This theater troupe reenacts the major historical events like the trial of Jack McCall and Wild Bill's assassination that inspired the legends you know today. Deadwood has survived three major fires and numerous economic hardships, pushing it to the verge of becoming another Old West ghost town. But in 1989, limited wage gambling was legalized and Deadwood was reborn. Today, the town is booming once again. You'll find modern day casinos resort hotels, full service spas, big name concerts, and some of the best parties in the entire United States. Come walk in the footsteps of our legends and make history in Deadwood. Sit back and relax and enjoy today's adventure through one of the most historic Wild West towns in the United States. Wild Bill is probably the most famous Deadwood resident, even though he was only in town a few short weeks. James Butler Hickok arrived in Deadwood, along with Colorado Charlie and Calamity Jane, in July of 1876. He was a well-known gambler and gunslinger, participating in many shootouts before coming to Deadwood. He was killed on August 2, 1876, in Nuttle and Mann's saloon when Jack McCall shot him from behind while playing poker. Jack McCall claimed that he killed Wild Bill to avenge his brother's death. At the time of the killing, Deadwood had no law, so a group of miners held a trial in the McDaniels Theater. After two hours, McCall was found innocent and headed out. He ended up in Wyoming, where his mouth got him into trouble. McCall bragged so often about killing Wild Bill 
that finally a U.S. Marshal arrested him. Since his trial was not held in the legal territory, Deadwood was still a gold camp in Indian territory. The trial was deemed illegal. McCall was sent to Yankton, the capital of Dakota Territory, where he was retried, found guilty, and hanged in the spring of 1877. Thank you for watching today's travel adventure to the historic town of Deadwood, South Dakota, and stay tuned for more adventures coming soon.